So keep this in mind if you want to visit the National Theater and you have to do it if you are in San Jose. So this is how much food we got for 6,000. Just look here. We got two menus. In our Romanian government site, uh, it says that we shouldn't walk uh, in this area. Mm. Oh my God, the ice cream is delicious. Hola from San Jose. Hola. This is Yasmin and together Alex. with Alex. We are currently exploring Costa Rica and we'll be doing so in the next few weeks. So stay with us for that. Right now we are in San Jose. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have told us that there's not much to see in San Jose. Actually, they weren't even recommending us to come here because it might be unsafe because um, there's not much to do. But we decided to not skip it, give it a chance uh, and explore the city for uh, 24 hours. In this episode, I will share with you everything that you can do here as a tourist. Right now we are at the central market uh, from where you can buy food, fruits, uh, souvenirs. Uh, and it's a very touristic place and uh, one place that has been recommended uh, to us uh, by the locals. We will explore this market first and stay with us until the end of this video because we will draw the conclusions and see whether if it's okay to spend time here in San Jose or if it's not worth uh, visiting it. Why we like visiting places like this is because uh, apart from our curiosity to see what they sell here, what people eat and so, is because uh, we understand more about uh, the local life because the Ticos, the locals from uh, Costa Rica, come and do their grocery shopping here. So it's very interesting to see. Yeah, a lot of food everywhere, so people are grabbing uh, comida. And uh, of course, everything uh, here is very authentic. It's just local food. Found here a local shop, and we have no idea what people are eating. But then it's this uh, old man, very cute. <laughs> wow, es dulce, es dulce. No, no mucho. No mucho dulce. No mucho. Ah, rico. Rico. Sí, Buen provecho. Gracias. <laughs> Uh, Alex, Alex is interested. Like a what? Lot of jelly. Like, like eleven. Like? Eleven. The yeah, eleven. eleven. One that's that's the lucky choice. You really want to try this? Of course, of course. But I need a seat. I want to stay here. Ah. I'm gonna wait for a seat. But there are two seats here. Okay. Oh my God. Muy rico, he said. Muy rico. The meals are ready to go. Hola, un quince. Sí. Por aquí. Por aquí. Sí. We decided not to get the 11 one because uh, that is a very big plate and we already had breakfast. So we will get. ¿Quieres uh, con helado o sin el helado? Con helado. Con helado, sería el 20. El 15 no tiene helado. Ah. El 20 sí tiene todo. Ok, ok, el 20, sí. ¿Y el, oh, el 20 cuál es el precio? 2600. 2000. Mm. Oh my god. The ice cream is delicious. But I have no idea what is it. It tastes like canel. Ah, gracias. ¿De qué es este helado? Es de vainilla con canela. Ah, con canela, sí, muy, muy bueno. Tiene otras, otras especies. Gracias, es muy bueno. ¿Dónde están ustedes, chicos? De Rumania. De Rumania. Sí. ¿Tú eres de aquí? Este, sí. Muy sí. bien. Bonito. Sí. Es vanilla con cinnamon. Never had this before. Wow. And I have no idea what, what else is here. You want to sit? Uh, no. Sure. It's no, yours no, no. mostly. No, no, no. It's mostly yours. 
try the jelly part. Not now. But when? Now. Merico. <laughs> Alex is already a tico. He talks like a tico. Mm, let's try the red thing. I have no idea what is it. Mm, I think it's like maybe strawberry syrup. But of course, the best part is the ice cream. And if I took the, the one that you said at first, you didn't have ice cream. This is complete. And the most complete one is the 11, which has everything in here plus fruits. Oh, good. But we had fruits already. But it's so delicious. Yeah, it is. So. And the price for this was 2000 something. I have no idea. And uh, 2,400, I think, or 500, which is uh, a bit less than five dollars. Not too cheap, but uh, I mean, it's plentiful for two people. This place was open in 1901, so it's very old. But the market is from 1880, I think. So this was open after 20 years after the market. Uh, was open but then it remained like this because it's a good business yeah and i'm sorry a little bit oh my god that's amazing yeah. you said it very good i mean it was good pronunciation <laughs> thank you i thought i was in romania yeah i hope one day go there and go to the forest in Transylvania. oh wow. but maybe when you come you write us because we can give you good advices oh, yeah. really sure. you have instagram sure, yeah. okay I followed you back also, oh, on yeah. Firmar. Okay. Uh, we are Alex and Yasmin. Mucho yeah, Alex gusto. and Yasmin. And you will find also... So if you come to Romania... Yes. Yeah, write us. Yes. You will find also Yasmin on my profile, all the pictures. Okay. Keep in touch, Esteban. I really like your name. <laughs> wow, well, already people are so, so nice here. We yeah, made a really friend nice experience. from the ice cream shop. He wants to come to Romania. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I, the, I really like the dessert. It was and the, very, very good. The dessert we tried it because there was a very nice old man who was eating it, and he said it's very good. Actually, that man uh, attracted me because yeah, he, he was very us. calm. And actually, you can see a lot of uh, look uh, tamal de maíz, cena, cakes, malai. Yeah, a lot of uh, good things to eat. I mean, we don't know what you can buy from here. But definitely you can eat very good. Fish. Yeah, so that old man attracted me because he was very chilled, e eating his... Uh, <laughs> his. It was his guilty pleasure. Yeah. Mm. We have also some spices here. Yes, and fruit. And of course, uh, Jesus Christ here watching us. Carne. Fish, look, a lot of uh, specialties of fish. I, I think it's pretty empty right now, the market, because it's a little bit late. No, because it opens at night. Oh, yeah, but it's not so crowded, which is good. And here you have also some banana leaves, if you want to have uh, dishes on banana leaves. This place looks pretty much with, uh, we can compare it to Romanian markets. I mean, not, we don't have so many stuff, with, uh, so many places where you can eat in Romania. Yeah, in Romanian inside. markets you can uh, mostly grab things and go home. Yeah. Here but you here, can also eat. Yeah. But it's good, because of course prices should be it's, it's uh, better really, than uh, right. at uh, other restaurants. It's a really nice experience. We can walk over this way, that way, but definitely it's not a very big Big yeah, place I here. was expecting it to be bigger. I, I, I heard that uh, uh, there is another place where you can go. Yeah, there's another market. They're going later. Oh, look, they have coffee here. We also need to try the coffee because you know that coffee in Costa Rica, along with the coffee from Colombia, is supposed to be the best one in the world. That's right. But here you can... Hola, hola. Si, sí, gracias. Si. Sí. Oh. Okay, gracias, señor. So, 
can we drink a coffee here to have a yeah. pequeña uh -huh. coffee espresso, cafecito? Espresso or normal? Uh, what do you oh, recommend? Cappuccino, mocha. No, normal. 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 Si, no, 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 solo uno normal, pero que no tenemos ahora efectivo. efectivo. No sé si... Ah, puede no pagar sé. efectivo, tarjeta, no hay problema. Ah. Aquí es de nosotros. Y se toma un buen cafecito. Ah, ah aquí. Ah, la Ajá, cafetería. Venga, venga. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Ahí hay campito. Ah, ok. Cafetería. Ajá, cafetería. Cafetería. Ah, sí, Va, sí. tiene campo para vos. Gracias. Gracias, señor. Ay, vaya, vaya. Vaya, vaya. vaya, vaya. Ok, gracias. We are sitting again. Hola, hola. hola buenas. buenas. Let's see what we have here. Oh, they have so many. You see? They have snowy. Passion of cream. Esmeralda. I don't know. But a lot of interesting things. But I will, I will get just a regular black coffee. And Because this way you can feel the taste of the coffee, you mm, know? Okay, and maybe I'm going to have uh, an Irish coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no alcohol in the coffee. But uh, if you put alcohol in the coffee, you won't feel the taste no, of it. No, so I how, would you, how would you know snowy. if it is the best coffee in the world? It's the papir. Papir, okay. The coffee smells so good. Really? Mine is still burning because this is with uh, the black coffee. You have to wait a bit until you can drink it. But Alex has already started with his cappuccino. It's good, but it's not as strong as I was expecting it. And it's not as acid as the coffee in Colombia, but... Uh, It's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, But you of can course, compare it with Colombian coffee. I mean, you... There are people from Costa Rica watching our videos. So it's the first coffee here in Costa Rica, the first authentic coffee that we are drinking. Uh, and it is very good. But of course, we have to try more coffees until we can, so we can share with you the verdict. Yes, because... Uh, Until now, we still have our favorite in another country, but it is a very good country, a very good coffee. Yeah, it is. I appreciate very much here, apart from the taste of the coffee, is that they roast the coffee here in front of us. Yeah. That's a very, very nice thing. You can see this To only. see it roasting there and then to have it in your cup. For coffee lovers, I recommend you to try the coffee here in the San Jose Central Market good spot for your first cup of coffee. After the coffee we are feeling refreshed and we are moving to another market, uh, this time uh, full of crafts and souvenirs. Um, they have souvenirs here as well, but uh, it's great, uh, it's uh, difficult to look after them because you're always attracted by food and sweets and stuff like that. So we want to go to a place that focuses more on crafts and probably we can find something there. But anyway, the Mercado is very, very nice and I recommend you to come visit here, eat something, interact with the locals, very, very nice place. This is the Central Park of San Jose. So this is the Central Park, right? Yeah, not a lot of green. No. <laughs> But uh, it looks pretty. You remember that we saw men's, uh, men of steel like this in Colombia, as well, right. in Cartagena. I But don't know exactly what is with that monument. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the city hall? Or this one, because it seems all police, I know, he is police. Yeah? Oh, no. And yeah, that's, that one I think is a church. Oh, it look, like. it's Mario over there. Yeah. Super Mario. Yeah. yeah. And um, the place it looks pretty good. I mean, it's decent. Yeah. So far we didn't feel unsafe. No. Of course, there are 
for people and people like everywhere. Of course. But I think that during the day it is safe to walk in the center. Usually, if you go during the day... Because uh, yeah. on our Romanian government site, uh, it says that we shouldn't walk uh, in this area. But uh, it also mentions that mostly during the night. So I guess during the day it's fine. Just, of course, be careful with your pockets and stuff like that. But the, so far, no incident. Yeah, the usual cautious measures. On the way from the first market to the second one, it's full of people selling stuff. Uh, the atmosphere is familiar. It uh, looks pretty much the same as in some areas in the center of uh, cities in Colombia or cities in Panama. You can find anything you want here. But we will go to the market and we hope it's open and we can find there everything that we want. Of course. But I observed a lot of McDonald's and kids. Yeah. And a lot of bread shops. Right, right. It looks pretty much as Romania also. <laughs> I mean, you have McDonald's, KFC. All you need bread. to have more, you need pharmacies and casino. And that's it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And somebody had an app on this. Okay. And uh, over there is the place. Okay. I hope that man was sleeping. We are here at Mercado Municipal. Mm -hmm. Okay. From here we can see how big it is. Not too big, not too small either. And a lot of souvenirs. Maybe we can find something with the slot. Look, you can buy money. <laughs> what else? Or hats. I, I like a lot of their slogan, Pura Vida. So right. if you find a hat with Pura Vida, that That's would be it. nice. Hola. Let's go this way first. Gracias. Then, gracias. Okay. Magnets, a lot. How much is the magnet? What is the price of a magnet? The price? Ah, no sé cómo. How much? Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand. Ah, one thousand colones. Ah, okay. One thousand is the most expensive. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Very nice craft, even yeah. the, these ones, the cups, made of wood, very beautiful. But of course we cannot get a lot of souvenirs because of the small backpack and uh, we want to, to get stuff that we can also wear, so it can serve as a double purpose. Mm -hmm. I think I know this model. Yeah, we saw this one mm -hmm. in, in Puerto Viejo and Buenas tardes. No sé. Gracias. Uh, ¿Cuál es el precio de esta? Están para 12,000 colones. 12,000. Cuestan 10,000 colones. Uh -huh. uh... Bueno, todas tienen el sello original hecha de aquí de Costa Rica. Sí, de Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Ok, gracias. Gracias. Uh, maybe I buy something as well from here because these crafts are very, very unique and nice. And they are made right here. 
using uh, natural materials because this is wood and leather and uh, the prices are pretty good. I mean, it's $10 for one necklace. I love them. I just don't know which one to buy. This is lava. You find different super, super kinds of lava colors. Wow, uh, and this know, here. Depends on the, uh, if the lava rock is, it's very, uh, I don't know. Fresh? No, it's the, the silice. The silice is most yeah. concentrated. The silice is more hard. Right. If you have less silice, it's, it's got more holes. You know, it's more like ah, this. Yeah, yeah, I don't and, want it. Like and that. you can put, and this kind, you can put essential oil in. Wow, so eventually I'm not leaving uh, empty-handed because I just bought a necklace, very, very nice, from uh, this very kind man who did it himself. And I'm really happy to have met him and I like my necklace so much. And then he offered us some gifts as well. Look, yeah. a bag with I love Costa Rica because we do. We really do. Uh, yeah. And we're going to leave also and, uh, your Instagram on And our also, we yeah. got this, exactly what we needed yeah, for our stuff. Mine was rusty. Yeah. yeah. And so, thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we Pura recommend vida. people nice to, to come you here. Pura vida. I hope come to here. see all of you someday yeah. in Costa Rica. If you come here, uh, let him know that uh, we sent you. <laughs> Pura vida. Because he needs more Romanian people here. Yes. Yes. I need a Romanian girlfriend too. Yeah, so I will review his Instagram and I don't know. <laughs> but I hope many people will watch it. So even if you're not from Romania, you can still come and meet. Uh, what's your name again? Ido. Ido. Yeah. You can follow me wow. on Instagram. Yes, I will review his times, Instagram. Ido's underscore two times. Follow me. Yes, a lot Do of it. great work Do he does. Yes. Maduros, we call it maduro. Sí, it's, maduro. It's, it's, um, Como banana, plantain yeah. maduro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this one is uh, chuleta, salsa. Chuleta, what is it? Cerdo. 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 Pork. Yeah. Cerdo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's what do you want? Mike, you want to eat here? Yeah, we eat here. Okay. Uh, okay, you go. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Mucho gusto. Nice video. Uh, no, he yeah. goes to work. No, to work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. To, to the market. Maybe you write us later. Maybe we drink yeah, a beer yeah, yeah, or something. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. We are also here tomorrow. But uh, on fr on viernes, nos vamos. We're in touch. Just talk to me on Instagram. Yeah. Sí. Okay. 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 Nice to meet you. you. Gracias. You. Okay. Uh, Hola. Hola. Uno casado. Con chulete de puerco, el casado. Sí. So the guy we met, uh, he also offered us uh, another gift, uh, and we talked for a long time. I think he now wants to come to Romania as well. <laughs> uh, he liked the architecture there in Bucharest, and uh, he recommended us a place not too far from uh, his uh, work place. So, uh, sí, uh, con arroz, con todo, con arroz, con frijoles, con uh, um, pata, no, uh, no pata, con, con maduros. Eso. Fried chicken, no. Uh, ¿Frijoles? Sí, frijoles. Uh, maduros y el chulete. Sí. Can I make a run of chicken? 
Y el porción de fried pollo, ¿cuánto es? Y para, para comer acá. Para comer acá, sí. ¿Cuánto? Como 1.600. Oh, ¿Y el porción es una...? Una, una cadera, un bolso, una pechuga aquí. ¿Qué entiende? No entiende todo. Okay, yo le explico. Sí. So this is how much food we got for 6,000. Just look here. We got two menus. One is casado, traditional, which comes, of course, with rice, beans, Oh, salad, uh, different uh, other dishes. Depends on what you ask. This is what I asked with the salad, uh, with, which comes also with drink. And then Alex got something very traditional, um, <laughs> chicken and <laughs> French fries, uh, which comes again with drink. And all of this for 6,000, I think it's very reasonable, right? I mean, we could have shared this, but yeah. Alex wanted the chicken as well, so that's why. Otherwise, it would have cost us just 3,000 for both of us. I think we have to also and to take it away. It's too much. Very, very good deal. And we also have home some food. Okay, okay bon provecho, Alex, bon provecho. Another must-do thing here in San Jose is to visit the National Theater. It's the most important building here in San Jose and uh, the most uh, beautiful one it's considered. Uh, I haven't seen them all, but it looks very beautiful and very different, this one. Uh, the bad news is that uh, if you want to visit on a guided tour, which I would recommend you to because uh, I read the reviews and the tours are really nice, you have to reserve uh, one day in advance or come early because we came at uh, 1 p.m. and it is too late for the tour. Uh, the guy from here who was very nice and we chatted a bit uh, in Spanish told me that we can enter and visit a part of the theater but of course without the explanations from the guide and we also want to visit uh, the cafe inside which uh, I've seen pictures of and it also looks absolutely beautiful. So keep this in mind, if you want to visit the National Theatre and you have to do it if you are in San Jose, please reserve in advance and or come early. Now some facts about the theatre. Uh, it was built in uh, 1897, actually it was finished in 1897. It's now considered the national monument here in Costa Rica. It has more than 1,000 uh, places to sit here. It still functions. Uh, they have uh, ballet here uh, and uh, different uh, other uh, representations. Wow, I'm really disappointed that we cannot enter because it looks really beautiful. These people bought the tickets already and they are the lucky ones. They will enter with the guide over there. And uh, yeah, I read only nice things about the tours here. So don't do like us. Mm. Hola. Se puede sentar. Claro que sí. Ah, ok. Ah, no. Gracias. Disculpe. Aquí. I'm not completely sure, but I think the cafe was open uh, at the same time as the theater. So this is uh, the cafe del teatro with a very extensive menu, a lot of uh, things uh, based on coffee. Of course, I will get the coffee as well. And the murals on the walls also are very, very beautiful. You can feel that there is history here. Okay. Rico. <laughs> wow, it's 
smells super, super good. This is Alex's actually because it has uh, uh, coconut cream uh, and we uh, just uh, foam from regular milk and cafe. So for him something uh, sweeter <laughs> as usual. And for me the traditional coffee, Costa Rican coffee, served in a traditional way, pouring over. Uh, you could choose also French press, but uh, I chose this one because it's super satisfying to watch it. The coffee is still pouring over there and uh, it's a big one. I, I like to enjoy my coffee and to last more and to sip it slow. And I also ordered something sweet. I hope it's coming soon. Look what we have here. Actually, I don't know what we have here because I just like the way it looks. And uh, I guess it's uh, something with chocolate and ice cream. Looks really, really good. Wow, the texture is super crunchy. It is uh, a bit like um, a brownie, but um, with a crunchy texture on the outside. And I still haven't figured, oh, I think it has marzipan and almonds. Super good. Mm. 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 Wow. It has a lot of crunchy almonds on the inside, a lot of textures, something I haven't tried before. And I wouldn't think that I would try it in Costa Rica, but well, here I am in a cafe which is uh, older than 100 years old and I'm eating this, delicious. Alex, you want to try? Try. Okay, now Alex for the camera. I love so much dessert. I mean, maybe you can tell because I cannot hold so much uh, with my belly Come on, on the sun. So yeah, I love it. So, mm. but actually, this is very good. It's like peanut. Maybe it's with peanut. No, I it's with marzipan. With marzipan. Muy rico. Very good. And yes, the coffee? It's something that I haven't tried before. With so many textures and it's like a crunchy brownie on the outside. And with ice cream and with those almonds. Really nice. Are you sure you want to taste more of this? And it's not so You want one more? Yes, and here the people are super nice. Uh, they, uh, are, they seem to be enjoying their jobs. <laughs> Everyone here seems to be enjoying their job. And uh, actually, we just read last night that Costa Rica is number one. Uh, the people are the happiest yeah. in the world. Rated as number one. Yes. No. Number one happiest population on earth. It makes sense now. After just a few days here, I think we realized this. When uh, the guy we met with, he told us uh, that uh, they have a very good quality of life. Even though for us it might seem a bit expensive, they have uh, drinkable tap water, they have delicious food, they have amazing food, uh, beautiful landscape, nature, oxygen, everything. Pura vida. Yes, pura vida. I hope you had an amazing day with us here in San Jose. Uh, we really enjoyed our time. Uh, we really liked uh, interacting with people. We met so many amazing people. We ate delicious food. And the city is really nice. Right. Is it worth uh, coming here? I we think so. We say, yeah. Yeah, it's maybe worth it. not especially like flying just to San Jose and spend all your time here, but for sure it's a city that uh, shouldn't be missed uh, during your trip here to Costa Rica. In case you liked what you saw so far on my channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Also, leave a like and a comment because it will help us. <laughs> Alex is super tall. Anyway, and I'll see you with some uh, more things from San Jose and from Costa Rica. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. It's free and will help Yasmin a lot. Thank you very much.